Whale sharks are protected in Australia, Gladden Spit on the Belize Barrier Reef, and in Honduras, where a government decree conferred full protection on the whale shark in October 1999, thanks to the efforts of the Shark Research Institute. The research in Honduras began in 1997 off the coast of Utila, the only bay island of Honduras that sits on the continental shelf. The local population has come to realize that they have a gold mine in the whale shark. Well, we go, um, we look out on the horizon for schools of bonito, feeding on the surface, something is spotted by Seen birds, sea birds feeding also on the minnow, bonitos feeding on the minnow. The whale shark spawn the schools of bonito, and when they school up the minnow, the whale shark comes here and gets vertical and opens his mouth, and the minnow and water pour inside his mouth. And Whale sharks are located by first finding seabirds and schools of small blackfin tuna or bonitos as the locals refer to them. Whale sharks are associated with the birds and tuna. All three species feed on the same food source, the small fry fish. The research being conducted includes both satellite tagging and visual ID tagging. The data being received from the satellite tags has already begun to yield valuable data. It is this data that is indicating that this is a highly migratory species. We also know that whale sharks dive deep, with one being recorded to almost 800 meters, where water temperatures are below 10 degrees Celsius. On a recent expedition, the Shark Research Institute came across this mature male whale shark that had become entangled in a fishing net. It appeared as if the net had been attached for quite some time. The researchers decided that instead of tagging this animal, they would take on the role of rescuers. Using a pair of trauma shears, the net was first cut off from around the shark, revealing that it had begun to restrict the shark's growth. It was only a matter of time before this whale shark would die as a result of the net. You can see from this image here how the net had begun to cut deeply into the pectoral fins of this whale shark. The net was embedded deeply into the flesh of the shark and in the attempts to pull the net off the right pectoral fin the shark began to bleed from the wounds. The decision was made to cut the net off as close as possible to the fin.
After an initial defensive rolling which threw the researcher off, the shark became completely placid as if it knew we were trying to help. Working feverishly, the Shark Research Institute crew began cutting the net off. This is a clear example of how human actions impact our environment and how our careless actions can destroy something so beautiful. With his adrenaline flowing and his computer beeping, Rick worked quickly to remove the net from the shark. Rick could now breathe a sigh of relief, comforted by knowing that he probably saved the life of this whale shark. In Utila, the research continues as the Shark Research Institute aids the Honduran government in implementing its protection and management plan for the whale shark. Ecotourism will play a major role in the future of the Bay Islands of Honduras. Impacts of fishing and trade have very significant and detrimental economic impacts on existing and potentially high value, non consumptive, and sustainable ecotourism operations, which yield much larger and longer term benefits to countries than short term unsustainable fisheries. Whale shark ecotourism is an industry that is worth millions of dollars to local and regional economies. <laughs>